Hi everyone, back in the shop today. Actually having to quarantine because family member, actually Carol, is testing positive for COVID as of yesterday. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is show you how to drill out a rivet, which a number of you have asked me to show you how to do. So I'm gonna turn this phone around, try and get some close-ups and show you exactly what we're doing. Today, what we're going to do is uh, show you how to drill out a round head, which are AN470 AD rivets. So here you go. So you can see we've got a whole drawer full of them here, and let me zoom in on them. Okay, hopefully those are focused. Those are AN470s as opposed to AN426s, which are flush heads. Uh, the round heads, I'm gonna show you how to drill out here, and the, the flush are just the same. So what I did here earlier was purposely uh, pound a rivet, right there you can see it, way too flat, okay? Now, for some of you who haven't done this before, what you might consider getting is there's a number of uh, companies that actually sell rivet go, no-go gauges, okay? So I'm gonna show these to you here. Here's what they look like, okay? And you just kind of put that over top of the rivet to see if you've got it mushed down far enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the three, at the, I'm sorry, the one eighth inch rivet, okay? And that should be the gold one, but I wanna check for sure. Yes, one eighth is the gold one, all right? Now, rule of thumb on rivets, because from many of you I hear, oh, that was a rivet specified in the plans. That doesn't mean it's correct, okay? Because once you put paint and everything else on the aluminum pieces, that changes the thickness. So one of the things you want to use as a rule of thumb is when you put the rivet in, before you attempt to set it, the protruding piece should be about one and a half times the rivet diameter. And once you set it, the height should be one half. So if you look here, I'm going to put this go, no go gauge across a good rivet and some more here. I guess that's it. Okay. And let's see if I can show you this go, no go. So you see what the go, no gauge looks like. Okay, right there. We're gonna put it in. And then what you do is you stand it up and it should just go over, let me show you right here so you can see it a little better. There, okay, that's what it would look like. Uh, and then, so this one's too flat. You can see it, the go, no go gauge barely slides in there and it's too wide as opposed to a properly set rivet, which is inside the confines of it and just perfectly fits the height when you step it up, okay? So let's see if we can't drill this thing out now. The first thing to do is to take your punch right here. We're gonna put a, a, a center punch, all right? And just kind of put a center hole. Let's make certain we got the rivet we wanna drill out right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is make a little mark right in the center of the rivet where really there's already a little mark. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is pick up a drill and we're gonna use the same size drill bit as we would use to drill the rivet. So in this case, they're 1 8 inch rivets. We're gonna use a number 30 drill bit. All right, I'm gonna re-drill here to show you, restart this thing, sorry. Well, there you can see a good focus. I've got a drill started. And what we're going to do here, and I tried to get off on an angle so the reflection isn't causing a problem here. Okay, and then what I drill, as I drill, you're gonna see that I'm gonna move the drill around. The idea is to just get the head to snap off. Okay, you wanna be centered. We don't wanna enlarge in the hole at all. And eventually we drill it down and you can see right there, it snaps right off. We have not drilled into the substrate. Let me find it here for you. Right there it is. We haven't drilled into the substrate at all. Okay. Then the next thing is again to take your center punch. You can see this. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, and you see what happened there. By using a, a center punch, it actually poked the remaining portion of the rivet through. So by doing it this way, we've not done any damage to the two pieces. Now we just re-rivet. 
So you want to be careful there. If you drill too far, you know, you can enlarge in the hole too much. So in that case, you can use something called a oops rivet or go up to the next size rivet will also work. Okay, so don't be too afraid of drilling out rivets and just, just upsize them. Hopefully that works for you.